My name is Larry Vickers. I work for TransWest Truck, Trailer, and RV. Just to let you know where we are located, we are 25 miles north of Denver, right off of I-25, right next to the beautiful Rocky Mountains. It's very simple to get a hold of us and make an appointment to come see any of our inventory. Just give us a call. We'll sanitize the truck for you. Feel free to take it without a salesman on your test drive. As you can see, we have a rather large inventory, and right now most of them are in the new line. Today's video, we are going to go over one of those new trucks. This is a Freightliner M2106. The empty weight on this truck is 13,980 pounds. It has a GVWR of 19,500. It has the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. And the conversion is Summit Hauler. Now let's take a look under the hood. Before we get going, this is stock number 5N191490. That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is an inline six, 350 horsepower, 1,150 pounds of torque. A couple of things to see from here, where it's highlighted or where everything is marked in yellow, that's stuff you can check. Right here is the engine. On the other side is where we check the coolant level. One thing in terms of practicality on the, on the newer ones right down here is for some reason the battery dies. This is where we actually jump the batteries. The hood doesn't even need to be open. As you can see, it's very simple and easy to get to. As we take a look at the tires, these are brand new Michelins, obviously. 255-80 R22.5. And if we can zoom in right here, there's an extra drum in there that are the tire balancers. And what those have is hundreds of little BBs in them. They have a touch of, of oil on them. So as you're going down the road, those settle in on the tire's lowest point. So that does a couple of things for us. That makes our ride smoother because it's absorbing it. Plus it increases the longevity of the tire. Uh, test of proof between 25 all the way up to 50 percent as we go around the vehicle this is where you plug in the block heater right here there's two 50 gallon tanks for fuel here is one of them the other one is on the other side this is your def tank which holds seven gallons now as we start to look inside the cab the seats are air not only is this part but that part part back here so it's air lumbar as well so here's where we adjust the air in the seats this is where we make it hot or cold and this is the level of, of heat or coolness that we want to come out of the seat You can start the vehicle from the ground, so you can start it, let it warm up a while before we get into it. This little pedal right here is somewhat unique. You push that to actually adjust the steering wheel. So this makes this telescopic and side to side in terms of setting the level of where you want your steering wheel to be. As we continue to walk around, All haulers are made so the back seat sets down into a bed. So for long trips, you can convert that and to put it back up into a seat is very simple. Right there and we're back to normal. Right here is a plug-in, a 110 plug. So if you find yourself where you can plug the vehicle in at night, that would allow you to use lights, etc., without having to use any of the battery. 
The Summit Hauler conversion has the most storage capacity of any mid-size truck on the market. You will see a valve right up there. That is to hook up an air hose if you need it. The second storage component. This is actually a little step there to assist you getting up into the back of the truck. And there's the back storage compartment. Now, as we look at the truck from the rear, we'll notice that on the conversion is different than the competitions. From that, I mean, this is aluminum. So this part is not gonna rust. So 10, 15 years from now, it's gonna look the same as it does today. This is where we would plug in additional backup cameras. This truck comes with what's called the Voyager system. So you can hook up to four backup cameras to this truck. This is a, where you would connect lights. As we go down behind this plate is the hitch for a traditional bumper pull and the slide setup is right there. Now, the new ones do come with a goodie box. Let me show you what all you get with the truck when you purchase it. It comes with several manuals. This one is basically for the computer or the, the radio system. And this covers things like navigation, the DVD player, how to hook up iPods, all of that, serious remote controls, how to hook up your Bluetooth, We'll have most of this set up before you leave, but here's just a reminder in case you don't. This is the manual that comes from, comes from the conversion company. This includes stuff like warranty, how you would claim the warranty if something does go wrong, and also other instructions. This is the manual that comes from Freightliner itself. So this goes over basically the cabin chassis parts, when you do need to do oil changes, proper upkeep, things like that, and also what to do if we have a warranty issue. It comes with your first aid kit, the headphones for the DVD player. This conversion is set up to, uh, for a gooseneck, so right there's the ball that it comes with. They can be converted into a fifth wheel and to get that conversion is very simple. I can go over that with you. Just give me a call at 970-370-4067. I'll walk you through that. And finally, it comes with the glad hands. Uh, to hook up, this is to hook up air trailer with. So these just need to be installed. It's a quick installment for you to hook up air for the trailer. As we continue to walk around, there's another storage component back here that's identical to the one on that side. Right there is the middle one. And right there is the front one. Now we'll take a look inside. As stated earlier, we're on air seats right now, so that's gonna make it really comfortable as we go down the road. One of the biggest safety features to owning a mid-size truck is obviously we're up higher than a pickup or something like that, so you can see not only what's behind you, what's coming at you and side to side. Another thing that makes the Freightliner Summit Hauler conversion the safest on the road is that it does come with air brakes. So right here is where we release the brakes. So as you're going, you simply tap the brake button and that will really stop you right now. So though, combine those two things together, this is an extremely safe, practical vehicle for you. So as we look at some of the gauges, the top one here, that's our oil pressure. The middle one is water. And as we go down, that's the transmission. Our R RPMs and our speedometer. Okay, the top right 
That's our fuel gauge, and below that measures how much depth we have in it. There are two air gauges. The first one is for the rear brakes. The bottom one is basically anything else. We talked about the air in the seats, the lumbar, um, the trailer brakes. That's what that gauge measures. As we go across, uh, speed control, so our crew, these four are for the windows. As we come down, they are all automatic transmissions. So park is neutral with the air on, like we just talked about. This is reverse and drive. There are a couple of little cables down here. These are for the audio system. You can hook up your iPad or whatever you need to there. This is the trailer brakes for the bumper pull. As we go across, these are our marker lights. So if we need, for some reason, to flash lights at a truck coming upon us or feel the need to do that, that is what that is for. This is our regen. We really should never have to touch this one as it regens itself as it's going down the road. This locks our differential. This dumps the air in the back. So when we're hooking up our trailer or our RV, if we're a little high and need to lower the back end of our truck, that's what that is for. This is the mirror heaters. This is the fan for the back seat, and this determines hot or cold air, determining how you want to, the back temperature to be. As we go down, here's our comfort control. There's the fan where you want the air and hot and cold there. And we just get down into a couple of cup holders and more storage underneath that. One other thing right above us is our DVD player. So as you can tell, we focus on making the safe, safest mid-sized truck on the road that combines longevity, practicality, and comfort. This is truck will obviously do that for you. So any other questions, please feel free to give me a call at 303-684-3400. We do have a question. They're asking what kind of transmission is in the this one. The question is what kind of transmission is in this truck? This is the Allison transmission 3200 TRV. Is there also a backup camera in this? There is. There is. And you can actually hook up four more. The backup camera is right above me. So as you're backing it up, the camera is right there. Nice. Any other questions? I don't think so. Not at this time. All right. So everybody have a safe day out there and give me a call if you have any other questions.